To prove this identity, the first step is to start with the more computed side. So in this example, should be the left hand side. So with left hand side, we start with cos x, cosecant x plus sin x, secant x, and we try to produce the expression on the right hand side that is cosecant x, secant x. Simplify this. Our cosecant x is one over sin x, and secant x is one over cos x. Since we are interested in sin x and cos x, what we need to do is derive the expression on the left hand side in terms of sin cos. So we have cos x times cosecant is one over sin x plus sin x secant x is one over cos x. So we have cos x over sin x plus sin x. Or cos x. Next, we put into common denominator. The first term we multiply with cos x at both denominator and numerator, and the second term we multiply with sin x at both denominator and numerator. This will produce a common denominator that is sin x cos x, and we have on the numerator cos x times cos x, we have cos square x. Plus sin x times sin x. I have sin square x. Remember your basic identity: cos square x plus sin square x equal to one. So the next step, I change the cos square x plus sin square equal to one. I have one over sin x cos x. Look at here. You should be quite happy with that. That is what you want. So you change it back to one over sin x times One over cos x equal to one over sin x is your cosecant x, and one over cos x is your secant x. This is equal to your right hand side. Therefore, the identity is proven.